Well, if you live in Davis County area, you may have seen flames shooting in the sky tonight. It's because Kentucky State Fire and Rescue Training and the Airport Sorgo Fire Department teamed up for a fire evolution training event. Eyewitness News Jill Welderman is live in Sorgo tonight with details on this. Jill? Yes, Brad, it was very interesting and a bit intense to see these firefighters take on a simulated propane bobtail, which has the same setup that a propane delivery truck would have. Uh, to kind of give them a, a, a closer feeling to the real live fire that they're going to be in. About 40 firefighters from all over Davis County came to Sorgo Elementary School to experience a propane truck accident fire, an explosion that could be catastrophic. It's definitely an adrenaline rush. Officials say if the metal the propane is stored in gets weak from heat, the pressure inside could make the tank blow up. What we're going to do tonight is teach them how to attack that fire, how to approach that fire, um, how to use the proper water streams to keep that tank cool and keep that explosion from happening. Similar trainings are put on several times a year, and firefighters here tonight tell me this provides them a firsthand, potentially life-saving experience. When you see that flame shooting, it's probably shooting 100 feet in the air. And, you know, you can feel the heat through your turnout gear, and you see the ground start to smoke around you. You know, it is kind of intimidating. This burn evolution simulation allows them to draw on this training if they are ever fighting a propane fire in real life. Uh, you'll hear the hissing and the loud roar, you know, of the uh, of the uh, propane as it emits itself out into the atmosphere. So it'll be it'll be loud, it'll be noisy. If we don't get a call from someone nearby that says I hear this noise, I'll be surprised. This propane is the same gas many have in their backyard grill. Thompson says tonight's training should be a reminder to everyone with summer approaching. And a lot of times. Uh, People don't maintain their gas grills as they should by cleaning them out and cleaning the bottom out. And that's where we end up having those types of emergencies where you, you get a fire going inside the grill and it works its way down to the tank. And some firefighters drove 30 miles to get to the training, but say it was worth every bit of it, especially when it comes to training for any type of life-saving emergency. Live in Sorgo, Jill Wilderman, Eyewitness News.